if you go to Amazon.com or Costco.com and you buy products, you live in a world where it's completely flat. You type in what you want, maybe you want a gas grill, you get a list of the, of the grills, you get pictures, you can sort it by price, by brand, by user rating, you add it to the cart, and then you leave the site. And we did a study on, on young consumers and young consumers on mobile and they're not buying anything. So the statistics of mobile devices doing commerce with a population that's all mobile is, is the, the statistics are terrible. And we believe that the experience they have is not what they want. So the, 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 the generation that's coming up grew up in the 3D world. They play computer games. They, you know, look at very sophisticated graphics. You know, we grew up in a flat world looking at a screen, at a, at a flat computer screen. So we're innovating a product with Nike. And the challenge, the engineering challenge, is how do you associate something on a screen that's moving with a product? Because that product has different colors, it has different price points, it might have different ordering quantities. So this is a ad that's got a QR code. I scan that with my phone or my tablet, and I'm in the store. All right, I'm not looking at that particular shoe, and I can use the same things that we use in, in gaming to move around and shop in that store. And that's key, because if you talk to any retailer, and we've all shopped at Costco, well, maybe not all of us, but if you have, the number one selling product at Costco, anybody know what it is? Toilet paper. Where is it? It's in the back. It's the farthest possible spot from the door. And they move it. So you go in next week, and it's not there. They, they've trained you to go to the back. And on the way, you pass the wine rack, and you throw a couple bottles in. You pass the apparel rack, throw a pair of jeans in. The power tools are always there. You throw a socket wrench set in, and you walk out the door with you know, 45,000 pounds of peanut butter and a $400 you know, check. And what these retailers want to do is they want to replicate this experience on a mobile device. So they want to put you in the game, in the store. And if, if I want to buy this shoe that I saw in the advertisement, uh, and this is all computer generated through gaming technology, I can begin to, you know, examine the shoe. Whoops. I can begin to examine the shoe. And as I move it, I can see inside it. As I flip it over, the floor leaves, and I can see the sole. And if I like it, I hit buy, and I walk out. And then I go back in, and right next to me are running socks and running shorts and all the other things that, that we buy when we, when, when we have that retail experience.